Okay, as part of your practical endorsement, one of the things that you'll have to do is a biological drawing. So what makes a good biological drawing? Well, definitely not an A-level in art. Um, what you need to do is to use plenty of space on your page to make it large so that you don't uh, struggle to actually see the detail. Good, clear, strong lines. Um, make your label lines straight. Don't do big curly whirly ones. Labels clearly written horizontally. Um, a scale bar if appropriate. Lines should actually touch the structure that you're labelling. And of course, no shading, no feathery lines. They should be a single pencil line all the way through. Definitely no shading, um, no 3D or anything like that. This uh, slide is provided by Cleaps and it tells us what's not really ideal about this biological drawing. It relates to uh, the Quad Fact Book 2 and so it's cells undergo mitosis from a root tip meristem. Okay, it's times a thousand magnification and this is the image and this is what students have drawn. So, how what is the feedback there? Well, the drawing is small. It's not used a huge amount of space on the A4 paper. Remember, we want to fill whatever space is available to us. The boundary lines are broken and incomplete. What does that mean? It means these lines around here are sketchy. Um, no labelling. Many features that are visible in there are not actually included in the detail of the drawing. And there's no evidence of a 3D structure that you'd be able to um, see with some controlled focusing. If we look at what makes a good biological drawing, again, this is from Cleaps. It's exactly the same thing. Uh, but what a difference. Okay, we've got a large full drawing taking the whole plate, the whole page. The boundary lines are really thin but very clear and it communicates all the features that are observed and there's evidence of the 3D structure um, within there. And they've used dotted lines for features that are out of focus. Okay, so we know they're there, but they're slightly out of focus. And we've got a key down here of light, dark, and um, where the chromosomes actually are. 